Hey guys, it's Tyler with Fire Sabers. I'm going to show you a quick trick. Uh, some of the older models will have this issue where you'll get intermittent battery problems. Uh, maybe you'll plug it in and it'll say charging and it'll just charge and charge and charge and it'll never actually finish. Um, and then you unplug it and it just won't turn on for some reason. Uh, other issues I've seen is like on some of the EcoPixel blades, um, if the battery is not getting a good connection, you'll see the blade just won't ignite all the way. Um, it can cause a plethora of problems. So I'm going to show you what's causing it, how to fix it, and what they have done at the factory to actually prevent this from happening. So on these older boards, the, the older chassis, we've got these two little spring clips right here that... They're the positive and negative terminals for the battery. Um, so if we pop this battery out, you can see here and here. And if you look, it's just kind of a, a piece of metal that's folded into a clip. So what happens is that these will get compressed to the point where they're no longer making a good connection on the battery. So to fix them, you can just come in here with an Allen wrench and just real gently pry up on it a little bit. You don't have to do a whole lot. In fact, if you do too much, uh, then it also isn't good because then the battery won't sit in there right. So that'll help um, give better connection to the battery itself. but. One thing they've done at the factory is now they add these raised bits right here. So the metal is actually stamped out. So that even when these are compressed, you still get good connection to the battery. Um, I have seen people where they've pulled these out before and they will actually, it'll work. And then as time goes on and they use their saber more, it kind of pushes them back and recompresses the springs and then they have the same issue. So what I've seen people do is put a little dollop of solder right on the inside here on both sides. And what they're doing is they're basically replicating what you see here. And it's just, just to add another contact point where the battery can uh, make a better connection with the board really. So, once you bend those out really carefully, just a little bit, you're going to go ahead and take your battery and we'll just pop it right back in and should be good to go now. No battery. Please charge. Well, okay. I guess I should have grabbed a board that didn't have a low battery, but all right, let me just try a different battery. <laughs> Uh, it's important to note, too, that when you put these back in, you want the, the positive side going towards the LED emitter. Stick that in. There we go. And there you have it. If this doesn't fix your problem, or if you have any other issues, just go ahead and contact us, uh, either on our Facebook page, or you can shoot us an email at service at virusavers.com. Thanks.